Yo, it's your boy Joy the Dunn. Um, and excuse my gnarly do rag line in my head or whatever. Been wearing do rag. Um, today I want to talk about. Today I want to talk about the whole fiasco that went down with with on on Colin Cowherd's show, The Herd, with uh, Christian Leahy and uh, LeVar Ball that later went on on their other show with um, Fat Boy, the fat, the fat Uncle Tom, Uncle Ruckus dude, Whitlock, <laughs> the dude that makes Charles Barkley look like Malcolm X. Um, <clears throat> so um, LeVar Ball, as you know, LeVar Ball, Lonzo Ball's father, um, he was on, he was on The Herd, Colin Cowherd's show on Fox Sports 1, and, uh, he was on there to talk about his son, and the Lakers getting the second pick, they, he wants his son to go to the Lakers, his son wanted to go to the Lakers, that's the whole thing, they were, they were talking about that, and they would talk about his shoes, as you know, he put out his shoes by himself, he didn't have a, a shoe company, he made, he created his own shoe company, and they put out, Lonzo's uh, shoes, um, and they were talking about that. And back for flashback on their other show, Colin and, and Fat Boy have a, a show them of them of their own where they have like a show where after the herd, like it's called Speak Speak for Yourself. Um, and they, she was on there, uh, Chris, Kristen Leahy, and she always is talking shit about LeBron and talking shit about, like, she always, and, like, she talks a lot of shit, like, on the slide. Like, she's a very true, cute girl, and she seems like she'd be nice and shit, but she talks a lot of shit. And she was just on there just fucking killing LeVar Ball. His son's... He's, I mean, Lonzo, he looks like he can't even talk to a girl without without uh, LeVar's approval. He looks like he just was terrified. He couldn't say five words. He's terrified. You know what? I think that he's making them play basketball. I don't think they want to play basketball. That's what she was like going off on this shit. And so, LeVar, let's go back. Uh, fast forward, go back. LeVar is fucking on the show. He walk in, he's talking to Kyle. He hollering at Colin. He, he talking. He's being himself. She says something. Colin asks him how many. I mean, Colin asks him something about the shoes. How's the shoes going? How's shoes going? You know how Colin is. How's shoes going? Like he on fucking coke all day. Huh? How's he going? Huh? And shit. And Lavar, it's going good, man. And and she says, how many did you sell? And like, and even that. Like, a lot of people saying what she said later was bad. Even that is, like, the most asshole move ever. She ain't said nothing the whole interview. And she said, how how many did you sell? And he said, you mind your own business. You don't worry about that. You stay in your lane. <laughs> and he didn't even look at her, bro. This dude, man. And she was like, what? And he said something. And they said something else. But then he said, he said, you're not even going to look at me? He said, yo, no, because you are a hater. <laughs> I said to myself, this dude is my fucking hero. I love him. Um, this dude, man, I, and she, and then he just, he said, you said, he said, I'm scared of you. Because cause I, a lot of people are trying to be woke and shit. Yeah, she's scared because a black man saying anything to a white woman and her doing that. That means you get killed like Emmett Till, Charlemagne, and all these lame ass niggas, man. I love, I like Charlemagne, but this nigga, he just trying to kiss, kiss uh, black Twitter, woke Twitter ass, man. This dude, whatever, man. Like he, it ain't got, it ain't that fucking deep, man. A lot of people trying to make it a race thing. I, I, I'm gonna tell you what I what I go back to when I think about this. Um, so, um, shit, where was I? So, I guess I guess the whole show for the rest of the show, she was just fucked up off of that. Um, off of that whole thing, she was just like mad because he didn't pay her no attention. And I mean, you if you t and this is what I'm gonna go back to. Everybody trying to make a race thing. Oh, Emmett Till, Emmett Till, it ain't that fucking deep, man. LeVar Ball's married to a white woman. Fuck out of here, man. It ain't that deep. 
What I equated back to is goddamn 2011 on first tape when Skip Bayless was talking shit about all them athletes and Jaden Rowe checked his motherfucking ass. It ain't no race thing. It's about all these fucking sports analysts and Chris Boussard, I saw uh, Speak for Yourself yesterday, Chris Boussard said some real ass shit and he shit all the ass down. He didn't say it in a like going at them, but he said it in like just being... A, mo a moderator and just being in the middle and he just, he killed that shit and they tried to downplay it and that shit was like he, like he, he said some real shit but all these Skip Bayless and all these people think they can talk shit about these athletes and talk shit about people and they ain't supposed to say nothing back to them like I remember Skip Bayless like in it, when they when first tape was in it early like, in their days was like he used to kill Dwight Howard and Kwame Brown well that was Steve Nate he used to kill Dwight Howard and Chris Bosh and LeBron. He used to kill them, man. He used to talk shit about them all the time. He still talks shit about LeBron all the time. But he used to go too far. Floyd Mayweather, he used to go too far. Like, he used to go way too far. And and when Jalen Rose checked his ass, that shit that was the this still a classic moment in television history when Jalen Rose checked his ass and say, "Didn't you average one point one points a game in your high school?" This kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, <laughs> this was so funny. But when someone come back at these sports analysts, they they can. It's like it's it's, it's a movie I seen called uh, Little Caesar. It's an old ass movie, old gangster movie. Edward G. Robinson and. His whole thing was, I can diss it out and I can take it. These motherfucking analysts, all y'all sports analysts, even all y'all analysts, some people like this in hip-hop, y'all can diss it out, but you can't take it. You can't take it. You can't, when they, these athletes fire back at you, you go, oh, oh, he's not a good father. Mind you, he, she said, basically, he's not a good father to his kids. And this motherfucker just said, stay in your lane. And he's the one disrespectful? He's the one who needs to apologize? Man. Like. Man, but I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to make this video too long, man. Um, I just had to talk about that, man. That whole thing was just crazy. Like, the, the fact that people, like, looked at him as being disrespectful for defending himself. And she's trying to say, I stood up for myself. You started it. She started the shit. That, but that's just how that's how women are. That's how these these sports analysts are. They can talk all the shit they want about you, but you can't say nothing to them. But um that is whatever, man. Um till next time, man. Enjoy the done.